Hi and welcome to Soul Infused Holidays. Today is day two of this special gift for you, this training that I'm doing every day between now and the 21st of December. Uh, well, not every day, not on the weekends, Monday through Friday. So welcome. Who is here? If you're watching on Instagram, welcome Instagram. If you're watching it on YouTube, if you're on the replay, if you're on Facebook, leave me a comment wherever. Hey, Sabine! Someone is waving at me. So many options to watch this. So leave me a comment if you're live, if you're watching it on the replay, on any platform that you might be. Let me know that you're there. And remember that if you have a particular question or something that you struggle with, leave a comment or send me a message and I will include that and address that for you in the show. So, Leah is here from Indonesia. Leah, I love it. That's commitment. Heather, Paige is here. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, Jakarta's in the house, fantastic. Good, so the topic of today is how to handle and deal with challenging, difficult emotions, trigger points. And if you're new to my show or new to my work, I'm, my name is Sonia Bueno de la Torre. And as a certified energy therapist and coaching for over 15 years, what I keep seeing is that I really work with women who have a sense of that there's more for them, that they want to make a difference. And they're frustrated because even though they've done a lot of inner work already, they still have that feeling of not being good enough or self-judgment, they don't feel worthy or that they matter. And it's really confusing and frustrating because on one end, we, and I say we because I was one of them, we kind of have that sense there is more for us. There is something that is meant for us to share and to express. And at the same time, we keep telling ourselves that we are not good enough and that we don't matter. So as a self-love and identity coach, I help women and I also help men to really love and trust themselves, to feel vibrant and confident, to be able to express themselves in a confident and authentic way and make a difference in the world as a soul-infused woman. Do you wanna be a soul-infused woman? Welcome to the show. Okay, good. Good morning, Darlene. Who else is here? I wanna give a shout out. Uh, hi, Finland is in the house, I love it. Harriel, Tina is here, Denmark. I love you guys all over the world. Talking about challenging emotions, how to deal with them, and in general, what it takes to become solely infused, to be authentically who you are, to feel good about yourself, it takes the work. And I want to give a shout out to my clients. Some of them are here live right now, and some of them are watching the replay. But I want to give them a shout out because what I've seen over the years, over and over, is that so many people come to me and they really want to feel confident, they want to love themselves, they want to have what I have now because I know my story coming back from hating myself, hating my body, being severely depressed to the point that I wanted to take my life away. And now feeling that I am a soul-infused woman, what I do matters and I do love and trust myself. And so many people want that, but they're not willing to do the work that gets them there. So today, and I had a session just before the show, and I had a few other sessions this week where my clients really face their struggles and their challenges to overcome them, to come out on the other side. So I want to give them a shout out because most people are actually not willing to do the work. And if you are willing to do the work and you are committed to do it, you set yourself free even though sometimes it looks like, oh my God, I'm never gonna get there. And I know this because I've been there myself. So when it comes to uh, challenging emotions, I would like you to leave me a comment. And if you are on Instagram or YouTube or watching the replay, leave me a comment as well or send me a message and share with me what are your emotions that you are struggling with? What, what are the challenging emotions, difficult emotions that you deal with in your life? And let it be just one word. It could be anger, jealousy, guilt, shame, um, grief, um, whatever it is. What are your challenging emotions? And if you share them, I can also address them. Hi, Sigal. I'm happy that you're here. You have life. Fantastic. Val Valerie is here. Wonderful. 
Okay, and invite someone in. You can invite someone in to have this conversation with us so that they'll learn how to handle those difficult emotions as well. So while I'm waiting to hear what your emotions are that you struggle with, just one word. I want to share something about emotions. I want to let you know that there's a, often a very big misconception and wrong approach to emotions, even in the field that I'm working in. And there are a lot of spiritual teachers out there who teach it in a way that I personally believe creates even more suffering versus releasing and being able to deal with it. Because here's the thing, there are not bad or good emotions or we don't label them. The mind wants to label them to make sense of it. However, any emotion is an experience. And if you only even address it this way, it helps to handle them better because then you put the judgment off. And the judgment is what makes it even more difficult to handle them. The other reason why it's so difficult for us to handle them is that we grow up. Our parents didn't know how to handle them, so they didn't teach us, and we only learned through them how not to handle them and or to try to deny them, to judge them, to, to fight them. And that makes it even more difficult to really handle emotions in a effective and powerful way, in a healthy way. Does that make sense? Let me know if this makes sense. And I will check jealousy, loneliness. Thank you, Valerie, for bringing that up. Very big one, especially at this time of the year for a lot of people, loneliness is a big one. Anxiety, Paige, yes, thank you. Anxiety, big one. Embarrassment, yeah, embarrassment, shame. Um, what else? Shame here again, sadness, yes. Yeah, thank you for sharing. And for those who have not shared, maybe that resonates with you. These are all emotions that we sometimes have a hard time dealing with. And some people would call them even negative emotions. And I want to be very clear that emotions are not negative. Emotions is energy. Emotions is an experience. And every Every emotion has a purpose and has also a benefit, something valuable. So the one thing that I want to share today with you that if you just take that with you today is to look at emotions and change your perspective on it to see an emotion is not necessarily negative. It's an opportunity and there's value in it and it's more about how I am being with the energy, with the emotion versus judging the emotion. And that sounds so simple, but let me tell you, that alone makes such a big, big difference. Because I'll give you an example, one example that I had with uh, one of my clients a couple of weeks ago. And so approaching holi the holidays and her mother fell, she needs a hip replacement, she was kind of like really um, struggling health-wise, and they're getting older, obviously, their parents. And they're just very negative, and she struggles with dealing with that. And she often feels judged and that no one understands her. And she snapped at him at some point, and then she felt so guilty about it. So she was really, she was really struggling with, first of all, dealing with the fact that she did that, that she got angry and she just snapped at them. And a lot of mothers experience this. And if you are a mother, you might resonate with you when you yell at your kids or you react in a way that afterwards you feel really bad about because you snapped at them or you yelled at them and you did something that you know is actually not good for them. And deep down inside, you know it's your reaction and that you get to do this in a better way. Does it make sense? Am I landing here? And um, so, and then the guilt part, okay? So the guilt part, it's the judgmental part as well. Next time you get triggered or you have a strong emotion like anger towards someone that you love, you don't want to be angry at those people and you feel guilt. Watch yourself how you're talking about the emotion and if there's judgment involved. When you judge yourself for experiencing a certain emotion, 
you are not available to deal with the emotion. This might be a really big insight for some of you, so write it down. When you are busy judging yourself for having an experience or an emotion, you are not available to deal with it because you're busy judging yourself. And Leah, because you are here live on the show, I want to uh, use your example. Leah sent me an email and she said, and she just um, uh, shared it here, jealousy. So what, how, to, how to deal with envy or jealous if you're jealous, of, jealous, jealous about something. So number one, the first thing, and I said that before, you first want to accept and acknowledge that you feel this way, no matter what feeling it is. Number one, you take a breath, you acknowledge and you take responsibility and you own that you feel this way without judgment. Sounds easier said than done. That's why the inner work is so important because we are always attached and there are fears around it and beliefs that are attached to this judgment. But number one, be okay that you feel this way. Be okay that you're jealous. Be okay that you envy someone for someone, for something. And then instead of judging yourself or fighting it or thinking this is a bad thing, you tune underneath and think, okay, what is this emotion causing me to believe and think? And what is the opportunity for me? Because there's always an opportunity to healing. When it comes to jealousy, and I'm just using this example, when it comes to jealousy, it's often a comparison as well. When you're jealous of someone, you're comparing yourself. When you're comparing yourself, you're already not in alignment with yourself because you are unique and comparison comes from not feeling as good as someone else or thinking you need to be somewhere where you're not. So watch if you're comparing yourself, stop the judgment, stop the comparison and accept and acknowledge that this is how you feel and you take it a little deeper to do the work that will help you to release it so that you feel worthy and you feel good about yourself and you can own the emotion and you can hold the space because if you can do that for yourself you can also do it for someone else okay so if this is valuable if this resonates with you please click the love or the like button so i know that you are with me and i'm landing here that this is valuable to you or simply say in the comments section, yes, totally makes sense. And if you have a particular question or a particular emotion, then let me know as well. Okay, Amber made it to the call, fantastic. Okay, good. And because, okay, I'm getting some likes and loves, and I love that because you guys don't see that maybe, maybe you do, I actually don't know. But every time you love or like me, or the thing, I see the little hearts coming up and, that's, and it's really great. And that gives me, that's communicating with you that I know this makes sense and this is valuable to you. So click, 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 click. <laughs> Keep clicking the love and like button so I know. And because the whole topic about how to handle challenging, difficult emotions is such a big topic, I wanted to address this today first, and I'm going to dive deeper into it tomorrow with a few more specific examples to help you to take this a little bit further. Because this is, especially over the holidays, when we are often more exposed to our family, and often our family members trigger things in us, father, mother, aunts, kids, and it's about how you deal with that emotion that gets triggered. So tomorrow I'm gonna to share more about the whole uh, process or the mechanism of trigger points. What are actually triggers? And what does happen inside of you to get triggered and how to actually get less triggered and how to stay calm when something challenging or intense is happening to you? Super, super important to know this, super, super important to work on this because only knowing it doesn't really do the trick. And I mentioned this yesterday and if you're interested, you can leave a comment below and I share more with you. I'm gonna do something to get started in the year to help you with all of this. 
And it's an opportunity to work with me, to let go of your trigger points, to be able to deal with emotions in a better way and to connect with your soul. Because ultimately, ultimately, one of the most important pieces for you to be able to handle difficult situations and emotions and be in alignment with yourself, calm, confident, calm, is to reconnect to who you really are, to your soul, to your higher self, and let that come down into your body. And you cannot even imagine, because I couldn't even imagine back then when I started to do this, what that would mean. Your life is so different and how your being is so completely different when your soul comes in and your life is guided by the soul and the purpose and who you really are versus all those patterns, beliefs, and emotions. So if you want to know more on how you can do that with me, leave a comment in the, like leave a comment below and says, yes, I want to know. Just, yes, I want to know. And I will let you know a little bit more details. Okay. I'm going to stay a few more minutes to see if there are any specific questions. And if not, I'm super excited to see you tomorrow. And please share this. Share this with someone that's important to you. Someone that will benefit from learning how to look at emotions in a different way and handle them in a more effective way. Tamira, hello, welcome to the show. Uh, I listen to your guided meditations on Inside Timer. Thank you. A lot of people find me through the Inside Timer. It's an amazing, amazing meditation app. If you don't know it, it's for free. You can have guided meditations. There's a timer, lots of good stuff. And I'm there on it as well. And I'm also fascinating, fascinated how many thousands Thousands of people have listened to my meditation and gave me comment and feedback from all over the world. So check it out. Okay, any questions? Yes, I want to know. Tina, yes, you want to know. You are in it already, and I love you for your commitment. Tina is one of them that keep consistently take action, and that's why you're growing so beautifully, Tina. Uh, I'm so proud of you. And Leah, you want to know? Absolutely. Okay. So if you want to know more about the opportunity to work with me next, uh, next year, uh, write, yes, I want to know. And if you do have a question on the replay or something comes up later, don't hesitate. Come back here, leave it, and I'll get back to you again. So what else to say? Last thing to say, come back tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going to dive deeper into emotions, specifically about triggers. How you get triggered, why do you get triggered, what's the mechanism, and how to get less triggered so that you can stay calm and act versus just being a reactions and, and reaction and automatism so that you just, you know, can't really be in control. Is this valuable? Do you want to know more about this? Let me know. And please also let me know if you have someone that you would love to share that with. Connect them with me. Invite them. Super excited to see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of the day. And oh, one thing. I know I'm giving to one thing, one more. Who was here yesterday? And if you didn't watch the day number one, go back and watch it. You want to have your word. You want to have your word for the rest of the month. And if you don't know what that means, go back and watch the show from yesterday, day one to set the foundation. Super important to set the foundation to really get the most out of this training and the most out of this year. So if you've been here yesterday, if you watched it, you have your word. Did you tune in today? Did you do the exercise? If you haven't, take a minute after I'm off this call. Commit to it every day. So if you haven't done it today, keep your word to yourself and keep that word, tune in and do the exercise that I, that I um, suggested yesterday. And I'm super excited to see you tomorrow on a new episode of Soul Infused Holidays. Much love.